Yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7 GH. It's always a great, great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very, very much for staying with us. Yes, yes, yes. This is another beautiful day the Almighty God has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. God um, is a faithful God, so he will do um, our wishes and heart desires for us um, as the month gets close to the end all right good thank you very much now in this video we are going to bring you the likely starting 11 and the strongest the best starting 11 the senior national team the ghana black stars will use for the friendly game versus uganda ghana will be playing our second game um this month of march you know that we are playing fifa friendly games so the first friendly games was versus nigeria and they beat us 2-1 we are going to play versus uganda versus uganda there yeah, we have to win even though it's a friendly game, we have to win for, for some sort of confidence. You know that coach um, Utuado is coming back as a new coach and all of that. He has to start his new tenure as, uh, with, with a win. He has, to, he has to give us some sort of win, okay, and some sort of hope, okay. Yes, so this game versus Uganda. Uganda is not any solid team. They have um, the fifth, uh, AFCON 2023. They didn't come. <laughs> Uganda, they, 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 right now, their football is on the downside. So we have to beat them and beat them very well. No matter the players we field, we are supposed to beat Uganda. <laughs> Do you get a point? And um, that is what one of my expectations going into this particular game. So, which players are we likely to use? Um, you know that Otuado, he's, he's quite unpredictable, but we are going to try our best. And based on the things we are hearing from camp, based on our projections, and based on our own analysis too, we are bringing you the likely and best starting 11 of the Blasters. Do also subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and select all. Leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much for staying with us just like i told you in this month of march ghana blasters were supposed to play two friendly games versus nigeria and then versus uganda yes we've already we are done with the nigeria on tomorrow 26th of 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 march 2024 ghana black stars will play versus uganda same time 4 p.m ghana time is when um ghana will be playing that particular friendly game we are going to look at the strongest starting 11 now um lauren Satizigi was was imposed for the nigeria game and in fact he kept the post throughout the 90 minutes these are friendly games and i am certain and i am quite sure not certain like that but i'm quite sure that joe joe Alakot will be imposed for this game versus versus uganda because it's a friendly game yes we all agree that lawrence artistic will continue to be the black stars number one goalkeeper but a friendly game we have to try the goalkeepers and see that what we are teaching them in the training grounds now indeed they are all understanding what what is going on all right and if you look at fatal down now what he's teaching the goalkeepers now i really love it he's teaching them high pressing how to pass the ball when you are being pressed high and how to beat pressing how to go long balls how to oh charlie 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 the vibe at black stars company me i they love the training sessions pa, 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 pa. i really really they feel the training sessions going on and so i am suspecting that a new goalkeeper will be imposed or or Jojo Walako will be imposed. And then Tyrek Lamte will be the right back. I need to say who played right back versus Nigeria and he didn't do so well. In fact, he was substituted during the game. All right. So I am suspecting that um, Tyrek Lamte will start this game versus Uganda. And maybe in the course of the game, he will be substituted. And indeed, this is one of the games that a lot of um, the key players will be start substituted. Yes, because um, after this game, they are going to their club size. This weekend, they have tough, tough um games to play and so obviously that's how it's going to be they will be substituted so i'm suspecting Tarek lamte who starts um ahead of ali duseido and then the left back patrick pozo also didn't do so well in the game versus nigeria in fact in the nigeria game in the first half one of our weakest lanes where the 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 the, the, the laterals okay yes the, the right back and the left back they were not doing well at all and so both of them were substituted all right and i'm suspecting that ebenezer anan will start this game as the left back for the senior national team the ghana black stars versus uganda now the four and five will go to Mohamed Salisu, who is fit, and we've not heard anything like Mohamed Salisu is injured or something. But the problem I am having is that, whilst thinking about this, Mohamed Salisu is a left 
a left footed player and then Jerome Opoku is also a left footed player so it means that one of them one one will not start <laughs> you rather have both left footed player playing the central defenders central defense but ideally you would want them the two players to be starting because Jerome Opoku did very well in that game versus Nigeria and then Mohamed Salisu is coming into the team so <laughs> but they are all two left footed players and that's why I think that one of them will not start and that is likely to be Mohamed Salisu will not start the game um, and Edmond Addo, who did fairly well as a centre-back in the game versus Nigeria, is likely to start again as a centre-back over there. What is your take on the defence of the team? Which players do you think should be coming into the team? Which players do you think should be starting or should be benched? Let me know all of that in the comment section of this video. Your comments are very, very important for me. And do want to like the video also. Like the video um, and subscribe to the channel. But like the video, most importantly. Now, let's go to the midfield. The midfield in the mid game versus Nigeria... The midfield was Baba Idrisu, Salih Samet Abdo, and then Forsen Amankwa. Forsen Amankwa was playing as the number 10. And after the game, Coach Otuado said that, look, Forsen Amankwa is a player who is going to help the Blasters in the long run. He's going to help the Blasters in all aspects, when attacking, when defending. He's a special player and he's going to help the Blasters. That is what Otuado said. I have had a campaign for this player to be called to the Blasters severally. And indeed, when he came, the coach is... is is praising him but i think that that baba idrisu and salih samed abdo is not something that is going to help the blasters at all and in this game versus uganda i wish that coach otuado will go with a different formation or a different approach by dropping baba idrisu because the form of baba idrisu was not bad was not good at all was not good you get that point so drop baba idrisu and then have forcing amankwa as the number eight he can play as number eight central midfielder or he can play as an attacking midfielder for that play for Sinamankwa as the number eight have Salih Samet Abdo as the base defensive midfielder and then Andre Deda you the captain of the side have him as the number 10 Deda you didn't play the game versus Nigeria I told you that that one wasn't likely that he was going to play but then this one yeah, he's likely he's going to play he will take part because you cannot bring call the day you and then you let him train 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 and not let him play so he will play whether he starts or he comes from the bench he will play this game he will play take it from me okay unless there is a, a, a an, an injury or an issue at camp the day is going to play this game and i'm suspecting that he should go with the number 10 role okay yes the day is playing for his club side they have and he's doing very well scoring goals and then having more minutes it with Lehab, so he has match fitness and can play this game as a number 10. And then forcing Amankwa will play as a number eight. And then we have Salih Samed Abdo as the base defensive midfielder. We will not have two proper defensive midfielders sitting on the base. If it happens like that, it's difficult for us to progress the ball. It's difficult for us to progress. So we have to have just one defensive midfielder. Have forcing Amankwa as the number eight, and then Andrew Deda, you the captain of the side, will come for his armband in the game versus Uganda. Uganda any squad we will feel we have to beat them and we should beat them and we will beat them do you get a point so that is the midfield what are your thoughts comments use your comments are very very important for me what do you make of the lineup you are seeing to face uganda even though it's a friendly game this is the start of coach otuado his new era and we have to approach it with all seriousness and we have to start with the right decisions so it is important that we improve or we contribute in terms of decision making for coach otuado okay the choice is making you know we as guardians you have to contribute i'm doing mine leave your thoughts comments views opinions in the comment section of this video what do you make of the midfield what do you make of the defense and most importantly please do also like the video for me like the video now the attacking the attack you know is going to be like this Jordan Ayu was the captain the last time, okay, because the day you didn't start and there was no Thomas Patton the rest. So Jordan Ayu was the captain. He's expected to start on the left side again, okay, as a winger. He's expected to start. And then Antoine Semenyon was used as a winger in the game versus Nigeria. Okay, but he was used as a left winger and then Jordan Ayu as a right winger. And, and uh, Ernest Nyama was used as the main number nine or as a, as a false number nine to draw back into the midfield a little bit. And then also for the wingers, Jordan Ayu and Antoine Semenyon to draw, um, come into the box. Okay, but then this time I'm, I'm suspecting that Otuado will go with a normal approach. Okay, and then um, Ernest Nyama will go as a winger and then Jordan Ayu will go as a left winger and we will have Antoine Semenyon as the main number nine. And 
Antoine Semenyon is also not expected to finish the game. Maybe during the course of the game, he will be substituted. Same applies to um, Jordan Ayu. Maybe Jordan will not even start the game, will come from the bench. Or when he starts, he's going to what, be substituted. But this is the likely strong or best starting 11 for the game versus Uganda. Ghana Blasters will be playing versus Uganda tomorrow. 4 p.m. Ghana time. 16 hours GMT. Yes, yeah, so wherever you are watching us from, you can monitor the time and then monitor the Black Stars play versus uganda in an international friendly game and um, what do you make of the starting 11 we've shown you and um, what do you have to say about all of those um, players in that particular starting 11 who do you think should be benched who do you think should um, be started in the game and what do you make what are your prediction thoughts and of the game what do you make of the game let me know all of that in the comment section but don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, like the video hit the notification bell and select all thank you very much for staying with us it's always a great pleasure to have you join us. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.